Hey, good morning. Welcome to Do More, Stress Less, Day 8. We're in our second week of going through this process, and all this week we're going to talk, be talking about time mastery. I'm sure you've been looking forward to this part, about how to best use your time so you get the most done and you're the most productive. So first we have to kind of step back and take a broad look at your priorities and your values. And I know we kind of did that already at the start of all this, but that was just really focusing on the microcosm of the holiday season. In order to really get a handle on how you can use your time best, we have to do a little bit more basics. Okay, so what I want you to do um, is think about what your core values are. Because when we're stressed about time, if, if the time crunch is what's got you so uptight this holiday season, it's because a lot of the times there's a conflict between what, what moves us towards our goal, you know, what is our, important to us, what's our priority, and what's our value, you know, what really means something to us as a person. And I'll get more into that. I'll explain it better as we go along. But first of all, let's talk about your core values. I want you to make a list, get out a piece of paper or your note app on your phone, whatever, and make a list of what are the most important things in your life. And I'm not talking material things. I'm talking about the most important parts of your life. So these are just some examples, but see if any of them resonate with you and then you can think of more. So is family one of the most important things to you? Faith, maybe, um, material wealth, that's, that's, that's legitimate, you can have that as a value. Your health, maybe service to others, or learning, or having freedom, having fun, um, living green, that can be a value. Going on adventures, or having comfort, all that kind of things, those are values, okay? And they may or may not apply to you, it's totally okay, there's no judgment it's whatever makes you you. That's what your values are. So make a list of those and kind of get really solid in what's important to you in life. Then put those aside for a second and now you're going to make a list of your priorities which is what you are currently spending your time doing. So just pick, pick a, like a day at random, a typical day for you and just list out how much time you spend on each activity you're doing. Like how much time are you sleeping? How much time are you cooking food or eating food or doing personal care or commuting to work or shuttling your kids around or going to meetings outside of work, watching TV, doing hobbies, scrolling Facebook, okay, whatever, housework, whatever you spend your time on. I mean, take 24 hours and block it out as well. How did you spend your time? And the, the bulk of where your time is going those are, that's your priority, whether you like it or not, whether you want that to be your priority or not, that is your current priority. So now compare those two lists. What are you spending your time on versus what are your values? What's important to you? If they don't match up, that's why you're feeling stress. Okay? So what you need to do is, this is just an exercise to show you that your time, how you spend your time is really up to you. Now, of course, there are a lot of things to consider. You know, your job is going to make demands on your time, but you can choose to not work that job. You know, you can choose a different job. It may be difficult, but I'm telling you the choice is there, okay? Um, you're just going to be the happiest and the most content when you're putting your time into the things that you feel at your core are the most important to you. So today we're just going to get a good handle on what's important and what you might want to think about changing. So if your job is right there getting in the way of spending more time on the things that are important to you, then that's something you should like to focus on changing. Either find a different job, um, go into business for yourself, um, you know, whatever it takes, move up the ladder in the job you're currently on. But you know, think about what needs to change in order for your priorities to match with your values. So I want you to really, if you're taking this seriously, I want you to think of your one year goals. Now, not, now we're just not getting through the holiday season. I want you to think of all through next year. Let's just set some abstract goals, okay? Um, what do you want to achieve in the next 12 months based on your values? 
Okay, don't think about your priorities right now. Your values, what's important to you? Family, faith, green living, whatever, you know, from that list. What within that, those, that spectrum, what do you want to achieve in your life? Write everything down, brainstorm, okay? If you want to climb Mount Everest, put it on there. I don't care, you know, nobody is censoring this. So do that, start brainstorming, start thinking about where do you want to be 12 months from now with those aspects of your life? And just start thinking about them, okay? Start the process, the wheels turning, and tomorrow we're gonna look at them and pick one that has the most potential for impacting your life. Okay, so we're gonna go through this all week. It's gonna be fun. So, list of values, list of current priorities, see where they don't match up, okay? Just take a look at that. You don't have to do anything about it, but start thinking about what needs to change. And then set some goals for 12 months from now based on your values, okay? I hope you are having fun following along with this. We'll get more into it tomorrow and um, be masters of our time before the week is up. All right, see you tomorrow.